You were expecting someone else. Jimmy here. I'm back. Uh, it's not Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> and so you're probably wondering, where the hell is Jeremy? Jeremy and I switch days. Uh, you see, Jeremy is the kind of cat. Did I just call him a cat? Jeremy's the kind of guy who is always fashionably late. And he was so fashionably late on Mondays that it was almost Tuesdays. So we figured, why the hell not? Anyways, uh, yeah. On Mondays, uh, Jeremy is Tuesdays. That is the only switch in schedule that we've had. Everyone else should be on their respective days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Anyways, so, um, so yeah, this week's challenge, topic, whatever, we're listing off five things we can't live without. Now, I can already predict uh, that some of the guys are going to say stupid stuff like oxygen and water and food, sleep, uh... Well, sleep is a good one. But anyways, kicking off my list, at number five is video games. Uh, video games I've kind of had my whole life. Uh, they're an escape for me. When the whole world seems to be against me, I just turn on my video games and forget about all the bullshit. What? Okay, so number four, this is three, Jimmy, this is four, um, number four would be, uh, internet, an internet connection, my, which would be my phone, which would be my, my computer, my, pretty much anything that I use to communicate with the outside world when I don't feel like talking to them. Um, because sometimes you just wake up in the middle of the night and you want to know how long it takes to grow asparagus. Siri, how long does it take to grow asparagus? Which grow? Tap the one you want. Okay, Th that didn't work. <laughs> number three. Damn it, Jimmy, you can go back to school. Uh, number three would be my job. Uh, not just my job job, but um, yeah, my just having a job. Um, it'd be really difficult to live without some sort of income and although I don't need a job because my friends and family are there to support me in case I fall um, it is definitely nice to kind of be self sufficient and just do things on my own be independent and my job helps me do that it helps me it helps my family and it's great speaking of friends and family number two would be my friends um, I love my friends without them I don't know what, what I'd be they help keep me sane, we hang out, we have a great time, and it's always good to be around my friends because I could talk to them and share my thoughts and share how I feel and most of the time they won't judge. Um, I feel they're so important that they're only second to my family, which number one will be my family. Um, like my friends, they're always there for me. Um, the only difference, the only thing that puts my friends after my family would be that as you grow up you realize that you don't really know who your friends are you don't always know who your friends are um, I know this because I would have people who I completely trust and, and we'd hang out and it'd be great but the moment I really needed them they'd be completely gone my family has always been there for me um, luckily now I have friends who I could literally just call and you know, share with them. So let's let's call one right now. Let's call a friend. Oh. Eric. What? I love you. Are you there? You're not going to say it back? No. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later then. Okay. Bye. Bye. They love me. They, they really love me. Alright guys, that is it. Uh, so just to kind of summarize, uh, video games, internet, my job, my friends, and my family. 
all right guys that's pretty much it i will see you guys uh next week with another video and until then i'll, I'll be here doing this